Before we get started, let's age the wood we're stenciling. Soak steel wool in white vinegar for three to four days. Then carefully remove the steel wool from the rust-colored vinegar. Use a brush to coat the entire board in the liquid. Go ahead and use a generous amount on the board, but try not to completely soak it. You can save the liquid for future projects. The board will dry overnight with a nice weathered look. Gather your supplies and get ready to stencil. Start by evenly coating the back of the stencil with Stencilese repositionable spray adhesive. Hold the can 9 to 12 inches away as you apply the spray in a well-ventilated area. Let the spray dry and become tacky for 30 seconds before pressing to your project surface. Then mask the stencil edges with painter's tape. Now put some antique white acrylic paint onto a paper plate. To load your flat tip stencil brush, simply swirl it into the paint. Thoroughly load paint into the bristles before swirling the excess off onto paper towel. To stencil properly, the brush should feel about dry to the touch. Now gently swirl paint through the stencil design. The paint should come out of the brush in a light coat that won't seep beneath the stencil edges. The design may appear faint after the first coat, but it takes about two to three to get total coverage. Work your way through the design with the first coat. The paint in the stencil brush will take you further than you expect. As you stencil, be sure to swirl paint up onto the edges of the design. And be careful not to stencil beneath the design edges. When you finish your first coat, peek beneath the stencil. The paint should already feel dry. Load your stencil brush just as before and get started on the next coat. After two to three coats, this is where you should be. The last step is to peel off the stencil and apply a coat of Americana acrylic spray. The acrylic spray will protect the surface and give the project a nice shine. For more tips and ideas, visit designerstencils.com today.